Well, Labor Director John Pinder says hotel employees should keep a keen eye out for new opportunities in the industry as two major hotels prepare to reopen and a new property seeks to employ hundreds. Director Pinder also told ZNS News what new emergency orders will mean for furloughed workers. The new emergency orders and subsequent proclamation extend the furlough for thousands of hotel workers as a portion of them prepare for a December return to work. Labor Director John Pinder on the position. What the, what the law says is 30 days after the expiration of the emergency order is the time frame the employer has to make a final decision on those employees. So doing that allows these major employers to at least raise some revenue over a month period or so and see what kind of bookings they have, especially those in the hotel industry, so that they can know what amount of staff they could bring back before that expiration date of January, I guess, 28 or so. Okay? But at least these staff will still be employed. Technically, they're still employed until such time as there's a both the Atlantis Resort and Bahamar are preparing for December reopenings. So is the point development with these starting employment numbers. These with the point um, who will be operating on Margarita Villa. They are trying as best they can to recruit some staffers um, so they can also open before the end of the year. So that was uh, a good thing. But the pushes from the point they were trying to recruit 350 babies. And so you know, so. All of the various positions that a hotel would need to function. They don't have a very nice hotel, I mean, in terms of rooms, but they have a lot of time sharing also going on at, at, at that location. Pinder notes that foreign labor requests at the property are low, about six requested so far. Meantime, he's encouraging Bahamians to prepare for emerging opportunities like the ones being presented at Bahamar's soon to come water park. They're going to need um, persons to, to work in those areas. Uh, so you need to start to find out what are the vacancies. I know they offer a lot of lifeguards. If you don't have too many certified lifeguards around here, I think they would say they could need about 50 to 60 lifeguards. So I've been throwing it out to Bahamians. Go where you have to go to get certified as a lifeguard. So when this thing open, they don't bring me no requests for no lifeguards because they don't, can't find them here. Pinder acknowledges the uncertain timing of a return to work and normalcy but insists that the emergency orders and the protection they provide for workers and their tenure is a valuable safeguard.